Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video and in this video I am aping my brains out with this new shotgun that I got. This shotgun is pretty freaking good with the right rolls. Now it is a rapid fire frame which you don't see too many of those in the Crucible. Uh, they're not the more popular archetype but this one, uh, this is the one small step. Mine rolled with accurized rounds, it rolled with a rifled barrel. I rolled with opening shot. I got Grave Robber on it, which is great for a rapid fire shotty. As you will clearly see in this gameplay, it's like, it's shoot, punch, shoot, punch, shoot, punch, and you're constantly reloading the gun. And uh, it works great with this build, which I'll break down in just a moment. Um, man, I had a lot of fun with this shotgun, and it surprised me. I mean, there were times where I was like, this is literally dust rock range, and it, it it's dropping people in one shot. Like, I was like, holy cow, like, it surprised me constantly. And I was not expecting it to be that great, because it is a rapid fire frame shotgun. And generally speaking, they're not really that amazing. Like, I've used them before just because I like to be different. I like to use things that not a lot of people are using. And the rapid fire frames have consistently underwhelmed me, uh, most of them. But this one is like, holy freaking crap, it's pretty good. Uh, get a good roll on this thing, and you will not regret it. How do you get this gun? This gun uh, you get from Eris Morn on the moon. You gotta get the right essence. So, uh, I don't know. Actually, off the top of my head, I'm spacing on the name of the essence. There's an essence. You know, there's tons of them. You just do your nightmare hunts. One of them will give you the shotgun essence. And then you just level it up, shoot some stuff on the moon with a shotgun. Eventually, you'll complete the essence, turn it in at the altar, and get a shotgun. And, uh, dang, I was really blown away at this roll. I was like, oh, man, this roll's pretty freaking good. Too bad it's a rapid fire frame. Probably sucks. I was wrong. And uh, in this gameplay, I'm coupling it with uh, Code of the Protector, which is the top tree for Titan Sentinels. And the reason I'm doing that is because that tree has an, uh, an ability that makes it so that when you get melee kills uh, with your melee ability charge active, it's going to give you an overshield, you're going to do more melee damage, you're going to reload your guns faster, and so you kind of, uh, you heal yourself and move forward, punch something, heal yourself, move forward, uh, and it just, it synchronized really well with this shotgun having Grave Robber, and uh, the fact that it is a rapid fire frame means that um, a lot of times you're not getting those one hit kills at, at uh, you know, Mindbender range, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of time it's like, you're banking on it. You want it to not finish them off in one hit so that you can go for that melee right after. Um, and in fact, there's actually a handful of times uh, today, and even I think in this gameplay, where I go for the melee because I'm, I'm expecting, oh, at this range, this shotgun's not going to kill this guy. So I just go trigger, trigger, right? Shoot the shotgun, go for the melee. But then my way, my melee completely whiffs because the, the guy ends up dying to the shotty blast. I'm like, holy cow, that was some considerable range. So... I gotta tell you, this thing is nice. I'm using Syntheseps, by the way, so that I can get those more consistent melee lunges in after uh, hitting with the shotgun. And uh, uh, you'll also see a fair amount of sunshot in this gameplay. Guys, <laughs> I'm probably gonna do a video just to highlight it. I know I'm not the first, but holy cow, sunshot is crisp as fudge right now. Crisp as fudge. Use it, try it. Um, the thing about sunshot is that it it is kind of uh, outperforming other hand cannons right now. Not kind of, it is. It's outperforming other hand cannons right now because it is not as severely punished because of the range nerfs. So some of the damage that Sunshot is going to do is connected to the explosive rounds on it, which means there's no range drop off. If you hit them, you hit them, and it does the full explosive damage. So, I mean, there were times where I was on Widow's Court and I was cr cross-mapping guys. And the actual amount of damage I was doing with, like, the bullet was 12. But then I was doing the explosive damage on top of that. And I was getting, like, what was it, like, 30, 36 or something damage at, like, scout rifle range. And I was like, holy cow. Like, I can actually duel people at this range. Hit my headshots. Um, you know, I can win this fight. So Sunshot surprised me as well. Another, another weapon in this loadout that sort of impresses me with its range, just like the shotgun did. Um... Guys, I gotta say, I think the shotgun is worth keeping an eye out for. Is it worth spending, you know, dozens of hours farming for? Probably not. Is it worth spending uh, a couple hours here and there trying to get a good roll on it? I think absolutely. Absolutely it was. In fact, because the handling on it is pretty good, I found myself 
out dueling other shotgunners who were using like aggressive frame shotties that didn't have quick draw or something like that um because i was able to get mine up out of a sprint faster than they were and put them down you know and i can see them pulling that shotgun up and i'm able to out duel them just because this one's a little bit more zippy and it put them down in one shot like i needed it to so i highly recommend it i think it's well worth uh the time investment it really i think i only forged like three of these before i got this roll which contrasts that with the fusion rifle i've been going for a god roll on the fusion rifle and the best i can get is mediocre and i've i've probably forged about a dozen of the fusion rifles so far and the best ones I've gotten are just okay, which is a bit of a disappointment, but hey, what are you going to do? I got lucky on the shoddy, so I suppose I should uh, count my blessings. But uh, Alright, well, I hope that you enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Hopefully you uh, are motivated to go get one of these things, because I, like I said, I was surprised by it. It is actually pretty good. And I'm not really a shoddy lover, but this one was fun, and I, I certainly did not regret my time spent with it. That especially gave me an excuse to run around with a sunshot for a while because most of my favorite uh, weapons right now are energy weapons so when i'm trying to focus on you know like all these videos i'm doing the no feelings energy weapons so i have to find a kinetic uh the pulse rifle the um, nightfall pulse i did a, a a video on energy weapon right the the oracle energy weapon the gospel energy weapon the omniscient eye energy weapon like all my favorite weapons right now are energy weapons so it's i've been i haven't been able to use some of my bread and butter energy weapons for the past couple of weeks so i've been focusing on these so this one gave me an excuse to pull out my sunshot again and have some fun with it and i'm glad that i did so all right well i hope to see you soon um there might not be a video up tomorrow so it, tomorrow's my wife's birthday so uh, we're doing a whole date night tonight, and uh, we won't be getting back into town until uh, later tomorrow. So I, I might just be beat. I might not be up for doing some editing. So it might be Monday or Sunday until I see you again. But until then, be warm and well-fed, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to catching you, hopefully, in the Crucible. Bye-bye. Shut them down. Zone A captured. Zone B captured. You